Uh, I'm Josh, I'm from FX Home. We're a software company based right in the heart of Norwich and I'm an ex-UEA graduate, so it kind of relates very well to all of what was just said. Um, we specialize in high-powered but really accessible products for filmmakers and photographers, as it will tell you now. There we go. Um, I started a company in 2001 from my bedroom uh, with another graduate from UEA and sort of over the last 12 years, it's been quite a roller coaster, but we have moved on a, a great deal, and particularly over the last few years when there's been a sort of an explosion of digital in Norwich. Uh, our software is used by creatives all over the world, tens of thousands of creatives, from professionals to people just starting out, sort of taking their first steps into video production and photography. Is that gonna move? Ah, there we go. So, yeah, we are based in Norwich, but we're an international team. We have members from Australia, France, Portugal, and a lot of graduates from UEA. Uh, I, it was quite hard to build that team originally in Norwich. People weren't aware of Norwich as a, as a tech hub or just aware of Norwich as a city, but it's definitely got easier over the years. People like Norwich. They, uh, when they come here and go to UEA, they don't like to leave, really. Um, so we've got a lot of local talent and we work a lot with local universities, so UEA, we uh, work in many of the ways, so uh, we've had interns come in, we've gone and worked with the professionals at UEA, we're uh, looking into graphics technology, uh, but we've also worked with the University of Art as well and the college as well. There's sort of really great resources and all these places are really willing to get involved with businesses that are willing to take the time. So the products that we make, we have a photo product and we have a video product. The photo product's used by somewhere around 60,000 people around the world. And if you ever go to Vegas or you go to any kind of event where they have a green screen up and they take a photograph of you and then they put in something in the background, you know, the Empire State Building or uh, Godzilla or whatever, it's probably using our software. Uh, it's really a, a sort of a one trick gimmick, but it does it really well and there's no other product on the market that comes close. Uh, and on the other side, we have video, which is our real passions where we started out. Uh, when we started, all the products out there were really, really expensive. No kids could afford them, and it felt like a barrier to creativity. So we made a product that kids could use uh, that would allow them to use the kind of high-end tools they were seeing on the, the big cinema screens. And it's taken 12 years to really make that vision happen. So yeah, it's easier if I show you rather than just run on. So. Uh My name is Mike Harrington, I'm a professional photographer. For me, post-production is a really big part nowadays. And that comes down to what, what you're trying to shoot and how you're trying to achieve it. We shot Lukeman in the studio uh, under very fast flashlights. I think they're about 1,500 of a second. And this enabled us to get the perfect frozen image. Before long, with, with the FX Home software and working with a layered effect, we were able to see whether it's working or not. A little bit of tweaking, it all comes together.
to find my husband. Why'd you run? I have to find my husband. Not a reason. Please, just shoot. Stay back. Last chance. I'm innocent. Somebody is setting me down. up. Don't make me put you down, son. Put the goddamn gun Keep down. Pull yourself up now. Come on, Ed. No. What do you say? Let's we'll sort this out, I promise. I gotta bring you in, son. It's over, face down. Somebody's going to try to kill the Russian president. You know that. Do something about that. Come in and tell That's what you should know. be worried about. There's no way to run. Quit now. No, I didn't do anything. Ah, no. She's on a blue semi, Route 1, heading north. Get a roadblock in place now. Thank you. Uh, well, yeah, so our technology is used everywhere from kids making their first film or just trying out sort of to try and tell a story in a, a, for school all the way up to feature films. And that's really where the company is going over the next few years. So we've, we've been very really sort of lucky with the way that YouTube has become such a big phenomenon. You saw in there something called Video Game High School. It's the biggest online series that's ever existed. That was created by a user who started out using our product about 10 years ago, and now he's, well, he's one of the biggest people on YouTube in excess of a billion views, and he's still using our products. Uh, so it's a great story for us. We've secured local investment in the last year as well, which has uh, uh, been really great as well. It's from local people trying to support tech companies in Norfolk, and that was something I didn't really know that that was around here, people really interested in supporting tech companies and supporting companies. Uh, but we've also had the Growing Business Fund, uh, and they've supported us uh, as well. We've had our two biggest product launches in the last year, one photo product and a video product. Uh, they've gone really, really well, and we seem to be able to do better with each release. So people are loving the products. And uh, another sign of that was that we wanted to move our video product to the Mac. When we first developed it, we didn't have the funds to develop it on the Mac. So we took the rather risky uh, sort of strategy of trying a Kickstarter. We didn't really know how that was going to go. So we asked for 25,000 pounds on Kickstarter to help assist the development of that product. And we actually got 58,000, and uh, sort of about three million social impressions over the month it was running. And it's actually sort of opened up the software to a much larger audience that didn't even know about it before. We've also been able to extend some major partnerships with Sony Creative Software. They bundle our software with their video editing software, which is the biggest video editing software, consumer video editing software in the world. And also a company called Tool Farm are taking on all of our technology to push it into different editors, different compositors, and that'll be happening next year, and they're the world's biggest distributor of those ty types of technology. So we've also gone out there and we've been sort of seeking experts in both this area, as we said, we talked to UEA uh, and the experts there, but we've also had advice from UKTI, the Growth Accelerator, and it's actually been really good sort of reaching out and getting known in the area and the kind of support that you have from local businesses uh, is fantastic. So the future, hang on, those are the people I was talking about. Um, we did some work with Red Bull as well, which is uh, particular, particularly close to my heart because I drink a lot of Red Bull. Uh, I'm sure many people here do as well. So 
we've got a, a wide range of strategic partnerships that we're trying to build on over the next couple of years, but the real thing that's important to us is what was important when we started, which is putting this technology in the hands of young creatives. So while we're going to be going out there and trying to get it used in Hollywood blockbusters and all that kind of thing, what really drives us is when you see a 13-year-old kid use it for the first time, they make a movie that they didn't think they could make, and it's all right. The second time, it seems immeasurably better, and the third time, it's better than anything we can do ourselves. And that really is what drives the entire team and why we've got such a great team based here in Norfolk. The other thing is that we've, they've made all this technology, all these great developers that we have, and they really are great developers. They've made this amazing technology, which is it's world class. There's probably only two or three other companies in the world that are producing this type of technology. And we really need to get it out there in a bigger way. So it's our sort of main goal is to get it used everywhere from the, well, from mobile through to the web, through to desktop. So we're creating a bunch of new products and new innovations, both online, on tablets, on phones, and on the desktop to try and make that happen. So uh, thank you very much for your time.